Oh, I hate this thing. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Hopefully, I am live. And I think I am. So, we're just going to wait for this thing to go through. There we go. Alright. Hello, everybody. If you can just let me know if you can hear and see me, and we'll be off and running. Uh, I can see myself on my phone. All I need to know is that I'm coming through loud and clear. And once we do that, we'll be off and running. So a couple of things that to just let you know what's going on here. Um, last week we were supposed to do a live uh, playthrough. And unfortunately, we were having some problems with YouTube where I couldn't get into the Board Game Geek site. Zablik, thank you. How are you? Yes, see and can hear you. Thank you so much. All right, so anyways, um, so you guys didn't get to see what I had planned is that we're building a diorama for uh, Oathsworn into the Deep Woods. The Kickstarter ended yesterday. It was very, very successful. And I was very lucky to get a bunch of figures from it. So I'm really excited. I was really excited to paint this thing up. And I came up with this whole thing because of this stupid tree so I wanted to tell a story so I'm painting these two figures and we're gonna add that tree in and we're gonna build a diorama now because last week there's actually was supposed to be three parts but we're gonna squeeze two parts into it and then next week we're gonna actually build the diorama and have a pretty good time with it uh, I can see everything here so we're gonna use the, the new format that we have where I'm gonna play a video I've already painted this stuff and I'm gonna talk through it some of the stuff some of you may have seen on my channel, but you're going to get a different take on it because I was able to change a few things and uh, edit the videos down a little bit. And I, I found some things in there that I want to talk about a little different to give you a different perspective. Then at the end, I want to show you the figures and I want to show you how we're going to build this diorama because I actually have the frame that we're going to use down there and we'll show you at the very end of uh, our two videos. So... Without further ado, why don't I show you how to... But now, I do have to tell you one thing. There are some spoilers here. If you're somebody that has backed a Kickstarter and do not want to see anything else but the mother rat, the, uh, the main boss villain here that I have is one of the bosses, and it you may not want to see it because you want to be surprised. All I can tell you is that this was seen on a major video that we did uh, for the Kickstarter. And it, it, it's, it's, it's one of the figures that we had showed off that I was, I was saying that we were going to do. So, that way you know there may be some spoil. There is a spoiler in here if you're somebody that didn't want to know. Okay. Flash, how are you? Lico, how are you? Daniel, how are you? I say hi to everybody. All right. Without further ado, let's downsize this and let's go to our movie view. So get ready for that uh, really weird thing that happens there. And we're going to start and we're going to go big here. Boom. And there we go. All right. So we're going to take a look at the major villain that we're going to be working with. And as you can see, that is a contrast paint. Now I'm going to stop the video here and there. So just stay with me and everything will come come clear and what this guy is okay is a giant a sitor or something like that i had this idea when i saw him that i really wanted to do something special and something different so um i primed him and the only reason i'm stopping this video right here and i know it's kind of shaky here is i wanted to show you what i primed him uh i primed him a gray sear gray so now I'm going to take a contrast, a very dark brown contrast paint from GW and go over the big fella. I am good, man. I got all the all in pledge for this game. I have great expectations. Yeah, it's going to be a great game. Christopher, how are you? Okay, so as you can see, I'm just I'm just covering the big fella in this this contrast paint. These contrast paints are really good because they help you uh, in a lot of ways to speed up things a little bit. And uh, as you can see, 
I'm trying not to hit that backpack that he has. And you see there's some arms there and stuff hanging out and some really neat things. But what we're just doing is I'm, I'm trying to get a gauge. And a lot of times I'll plan out how to do a vi how to do a, a model. But this is one time that I said, you know something, I'm just going to try different things and go go as I go. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, so I just, you know, I started with this contrast because I, I never used this particular contrast and I wanted to see what was going to happen. Now, if you can see my mouse, what I really like about it is it kind of, it kind of gives me a little bit of depth here. And that's what we're looking for is building depth with this particular model. So as we go, we are just flying away here and I'm going to just exactly I'm going to just keep plugging away here and just get in that area. See, we want good coverage. And that's what we're going to get. We're not worried about the base because either I'm going to take him off the base, okay, which it's a nice base, but I have a plan and I have a vision and there's a story that we're going to tell with this diorama. And, and you guys can help tell it. And I, I think this is where some of the fun's going to be in. I go a little bit off camera here, but as you can see, I'm trying to stay. I don't want to hit those horns too much because, you know, I really want to. I I really want to kind of keep it into his skin if I could. But hey, mistakes are going to be made, and we will fix any kind of mistakes that get in our way. And there we go. We're just working our brush, and I'm just trying to cover as much as I can now the great thing about this format that we're actually doing right now is the thing is is that you can ask questions and I have a thing here where I can see the questions and it's not like how I used to do when I painted live where I'd have to concentrate on the figure and barely pick up my head now I can answer your questions as we go we can stop we can talk we can highlight things and we can do a lot of different stuff and really cover it now as you can see yeah there we go and now look what we have here exactly that contrast paint really really darkened him up now that's not what we want i wanted a very very dark undercoat because we're going to start bringing him out a bit and you can see how dark he looks and that's fine because that is that is the basis of what we really wanted and and that really went on nice and i really really liked how that went on so i think we move on yes we do uh we're going to take some steel legion drab okay and what we're going to do with that is as you can see the post here yeah i i already put it on but i said oh let, here let me show show them where i'm putting it on right uh so i'm just trying to break up the browns because there's a lot of browns going on here and i want to just really kind of I wanted to use that as a base and said, yeah, that'll kind of work. And I was thinking about using it for the strap there, but I I didn't. And we're going for those posts. Now, take a look at this dude, all right? This guy is just intimidating, if anything you saw. And then he's got this guy all strapped up here. And then this banner of just complete evil. I mean, just a beautiful sculpt. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to take some more Fang Brown there. Uh, I know it went by fast, but I can tell you what it is because, hey, we've seen this before. And I'm going to take a, a, a bit of it off my brush. And I always use a paper towel. And what I want to do here is I want to start bringing the creature out. I want to start adding that depth. Okay? Now watch. Watch what we do here. Now, I'm going to stop this for a second here again. I'm sorry. But uh, over here, uh, I used a, oh, um, not a Yushabi uh, bone. Um, oh, God. I always forget this color. I, I think it was a Yushabi bone. But I used that there just to put a base coat on there and on his pad here. So, okay, let's go back. And you're going to see me just, see how I'm just very lightly, I don't have a lot on that brush. I don't have a lot on that brush. And all I'm trying to do is build some depth, some shadow. And that's what you want to do. You want to build some shadow. And that's why I didn't go too much over those straps and stuff like that. I'm, because you're going to hit those doing getting inside his body and trying to build out his musculature. 
if I could say that properly. And yes, I, I think I said hi, Christopher. I hope I did. All right, so now, see where see what we're getting there. Hold on, we're gonna stop again. I know, I know. Look at this. See how we're starting to get definition in here? That's what we're looking for. Shade and definition. He was very, very dark, but then we start to build out with our browns, and, and then we start to get this depth and the feel for this creature, and that's what we're trying to accomplish here. And you can see where we're going over the arms, and I'm trying to keep it away from the fur a bit because I haven't decided if I wanted to go, how I want to do that. Do I want to go over the fur? Do I not want to go over the fur with this particular color? Or do I just want to build out him and look, look at the, his back look at you know he has this fantastic back and then you know i'm trying to get this brush in there because he has you know just a you know a, a fantastic chest look, look at the chest muscle muscle here right there yeah there we go and how we're working there and i'm working this over his face a bit but we're gonna you know i know that just looking at that i want to go even lighter there and keep working and keep working that out and we're not you know I, I always make sure that i go and if you look at the brush i'm using i'm using a master touch brush that you can get at your local and i made sure to, to say hey i already did this off camera by the way folks but uh that brush there is just a cheap brush from hobby lobby and i like getting those because i can really grind them and and if they get ruined you know they're, they're five bucks for a whole package what the heck you know and by the way that backpack is a morganized bone next i'm going to take an oak brown and we're going to work with that oak brown and that that is an army painter paint and i went over the backpack look what i did all right i went over that pack and everything and it came across that strip and I know it, it it looks translucent but that's what I want because of what I'm going to be able to do next uh, coming up and all I did was just take that oak that oak brown from army painter army painter makes some great paints but sometimes you really got to make sure that you shake them really good and I decided to take the oak brown and go over that staff and that really really worked very well so now we're, we're taking uh, some Yushavi bone and we're doing the bone area. And I'm not worried about how much I get on there, but we really want to just get that in there. And look, look, look how that's going in there. It's working perfectly and doing exactly what we needed to do. There we go. And we're just hitting the bone area. Um, we're going to... Where else are we going to hit? We want to hit those horns. Really important to get those horns. And there's a lot of there's a lot of bone in there. I want to hit the ropes as well. And you can see I'm just I'm pointing out there's a there, he's got like a skull on it on his on his midriff there. Yeah, there we go. So and again just using those cheap old brushes. Sometimes you don't have to have the best thing. Like I said, you know, and I've said it before on, on the channel here. Listen, I may not be the best painter in the world. And over to the right here, uh, next week's video, matter of fact, <laughs> I was trying to kill two birds with one stone. But as we're painting this, uh, just to give you a little highlight, uh, in two weeks, we will be do doing Cthulhu Death May Die. <laughs> and, there, and there's Cthulhu Death May Die on, uh, off to the right there. And... Uh, uh, yeah, you, you're, you're going to be seeing, uh, we're, we have a nice little series that we're going to be doing there. Uh, very quickly, I want to go back, uh, the corn red, uh, just to go back over. Uh, it, always trying to kill a couple of birds with, you know, a few birds with a few stones. And we're going to use that. And as you can see up over here, how we did the staff already. Uh, we did the flags on the staff and we're using a very, very... Uh, a very strong corn red from Games Workshop. It works very well. It really is a fantastic paint and does does a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful job for what we're trying to do. And we're just taking our time. It, yeah, you know, you can't see what I'm doing because I have to look at it and I, until I can get a little bit better um, angle. Um, there we go. Look at that. 
and I believe I turn it towards the camera so you guys can see but you'll see exactly what we're trying to paint here and uh, I do have an overhead cam that I'm going to be utilizing as well so we'll try to do some mashups we're only going to get better at this as we go um, doing this new format and and I really think it's going to work a lot and you can see his, his horns how I got that definition there going you know we really got that Ushabi bone working and we're just trying to get all our base coats before we start to darken and then bring out bring out this wonderful wonderful creature and really make him shine that's that's the whole point you really want to bring him to life and just getting your base coats get an idea of how you want to work this and I see I, I see an area I missed and everything like that there we go a boy paint right off camera right <laughs> and I'm gonna come back in and there we go oh, we're just taking care of that drift there we go and now we're gonna take some screaming skull now I'm gonna stop this just for a second here I I, I, I took some flesh tone and I painted our guy here um, and then from here I took some Agrath Earthshade. Now you see how nice and dark that was? Um, I actually accidentally deleted the little segment that I did, which was about 30 seconds. But just to, just to show you, look how dark I decided to go here. And, and you could see these horns, how dark they are. And that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to get, I wanted to get that onto the staff and, and get that uh, Agrath Earthshade, uh, which is a wash. And you can see exactly what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. And now very, very, very lightly, I am taking that bone and I'm going over that Agrath Earthshade that we put over there. And I'm just, uh, look how light I'm going over it because all I want to do is get a little bit of detail and you're going to see how, how it really shines on that staff. See how now all of a sudden, and you can see I made a little mistake over here, but that's okay. We clean it up a little later and then we're just going to go over that and, and all we're trying to do is bring depth and shadow and really make that bone shine through and that's exactly what we want to do. Hey Ice, how are you? Rob, can I use any primer brand other than Citadel when it, when using contrast paints? Absolutely, but it definitely has to be a light color. So you're going to need a white or a uh, an ivory of some sort, and that's where your contrasts are going to shine the best. Now look, I start. I really, I really want to go over this light because if I put it on too heavy, it's going to lose the effect that we really want to get here and and that's what we're trying to do next i'm going to take some night night quest or night quest or oh, let me go back so i can make sure i get it get the name of that bad boy in there uh there we go okay let's pause it here okay night quest or flesh there we go sorry about that so now i really wanna i really want to bring this out now as you can see, I just get a little on that paper towel. I take it off, and now, really, just just like your you have a feather in your hand, just nice and light over his skin a bit, because now we're adding another layer to him. And what is that doing? Look now, look what that does. I'm gonna. I, I believe I turn it on the side here. Okay, look what that does. Look how that vein really comes out here. If you follow right in there, hopefully, hopefully you guys can see my mouse. Um, and, and, and then I start really working on the thigh here to bring depth. And that's what I'm trying, trying to do. I want to bring out, you know, his arms. I want to bring out, I really want that, the fleshy part of him to really stand out. Because we, we really want him to look fearsome. And now watch how on his back there. And, I, and now, you know, once the paint is off there a bit, you can, you could, yeah. Now, now I really want to be careful because you don't want to hit too much, but you want to hit that just, just enough. And, and, and now see how I go light again. 
and I just kind of work it and now I'm just going light and light until I don't feel I have any on there now going over the knuckles look look how the depth of his his hands start to come out and then we start working that other thigh his most powerful part of his body are is his legs and probably you know maybe because he's just chasing down people all the time you know I mean uh, he caught that one dude and he put him on onto that stake there uh, so I would assume that he can run pretty fast how about how about you guys just a fantastic scope and a beautiful model but look look at the depth that we have in 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 the horns and all that and how that all just comes comes together now and we just have some beautiful flow in there now this was video one uh, that that we're we're doing here, and this was him. And the next one, where I'm going to show you how to do the war bear, which is my favorite character, and that helped me decide what what part of this story I really wanted to tell. And I'm going over the face there, and I'm getting a little bit on his beard. That's not I'm not worried about that because I'm going to go back over that. But you see exactly what we're getting here. Now I'm going to use some scrag brown, okay. And you can see there's a lot of browns that are being worked in here. So, and so, so what does that do? That, that brings different shade, different lighting effects by, by just coming over and doing different browns. Now, I decided to try to, to, to bring some light to the main a bit. And just by going over with that scrag brown a bit, it really just brings more depth in there. Just taking my time. You can see here, uh, just to go, oh, oh, okay, let's just uh, go back half a second here. Okay, and we're going to pause there. Okay, you can see, you know, we went over this with it, with that white a bit, right over his loincloth. Look at look at the wash, how that brought out, and, and, and we kind of did the ropes over here and, and the other skeletons, which really brings this entire staff to life. All right, let's keep going here. And like I said, we're, we're now trying to just build even more depth. He's got some skeletons over here that we also did. And you can see that backpack, uh, the, how, it, how it varies from his actual, his actual, um, just taking our time, trying not to hit too many things. There we go. And it's working right in there. Perfect. And that's exactly what we're going for, folks. Really just working that in there. And underneath. And just getting his hooves. And I'm not too worried about that. We're not worried about the base. I threw a dark wash over the base for, for now because I was just trying to get some ideas. of. I had two different ideas for the base. And, and we're taking that scrag brown going over his his, his uh, facial hair as well and working on his hind legs and some of the fur there really just scrubbing it in there exactly what we're trying to do all right now uh, going back to the base um, I, I, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do and what story I wanted to tell with this Okay, and um, I just threw that on there because I had an idea. And, well, we'll reveal that next week. And you'll see how it all just kind of, kind of really just comes together and does some really wonderful things there. And we're just working, we're working that scrag in there really, really well. And boom, right over the top there. And in through his base here, perfect. Exactly what we want to do. And just really making sure that we have... And, and again, I keep on pointing out, look at the depth that we're trying to create. And you're taking a very dark color and, and, you're, and you're doing a lot of different things. And that's exactly what we wanted to do. Now I'm just going to take a little Evil Sun Scarlet, which is a brighter red and i want to do his eyes now you can, <laughs> hitting those eyes are very hard i just figured evil red eyes would be perfect for the big fella 
and and we're really going to get a close up look at this at the end of, at, at the end here uh, when I'm when I'm done doing the the live show here I'm going to show you all three figures and uh, we'll really get in there really just hit that eye real well and make sure that that he has that just yeah see yeah, he's evil as all get out sorry about not focusing in there but that red really just screams what we wanted to do with them all right next thing we want to do I did is we took some flesh now I saved this for last is I took some Yushabi bone here and some flesh here uh, and went over it because it would have been hard to kind of just go around this so I saved it for the end they got an arm hanging out of the backpack and a leg hanging out so uh, yeah this guy's done some damage so I wanted to make sure that we got that in there and uh, I'm just going to take a little Agrath Earthshade and just go over that, darken it up and give it a little bit of depth. And while I'm at it, just add a little bit more to that backpack and really just make it even, even a little bit more fierce. Um, wondering what, what else do you have in there? And as you see, I'm also going over um, the corn with, with a nice brown and over the staff a little bit with a very dark shade and you can see that just it really brings it all out um, I'm talking about the, right there I'm pointing out that I just took some new oil and went over that base until I could figure out what I want to do how I want to do it and uh, there you go so now uh, we're gonna go into our war bear and that's gonna be the next video that we're gonna see and um, and I'm going to show you that one too, and and then we'll be totally caught up. Uh, I just I spray painted him also the sear gray, but I took some new oil just to get him kind of started, just to get him started a little bit, and I, I went over the fur a bit because I I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, and uh, we were going to get there. And I'm just showing off the big fella one more time, and you can see that we got him right where we want to have him for what we want to do here all right so we're going to stop this video for a second and eight seven six okay we've got about five seconds left and as you can see there he be so now that's that video let's see how we can get out of this one go back to my desktop and yes the unending thing but that's okay because we're going over to our our war bear video and here we go we're gonna go right in this now this was the second video now what I did here uh, just to let you know is I, I took a contrast paint and I just kind of wanted to go over that band there and see how it looked and the reason I stopped it right here is sometimes these contrast paints don't always work as well as you hope they would so as you can see, I got this weird color with this dark brown, uh, with, with this brown here. But um, we make a couple of adjustments here to try to get in there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there we go. And you can see that, that I'm just pointing it out. It, it's okay. And I'm thinking what I want to do with it. There's some gaps there. I actually closed those up, but don't worry. It's an Agros Dune, and that's the color that you'll get on a gray. So... I'm just gonna take a sip of water here and you see I'm just pointing it out and then um, there you go now we're gonna take some Talisar blue which is another contrast paint and I just saw in my mind there that I really thought that his his um, cloth there loin cloth whatever you want to call it um, really would be this this blue and we can we can do some things with this blue and i really thought it fit, fit the bear since this bear is going to be heavy metallic armor i mean just head-on armor just a monster how are you good to see you and uh and yes we fixed the video a bit from yesterday monster but uh I want to show you some things at the very end, Monster, so you're going to want to really stick around because you're going to see some really cool stuff. So here we are. We're just getting that color on there. And look how nice that contrast paint goes on. Now, if you wanted to, you could stop right there, you know? 
I, I mean, as far as that, that particular color. And that will dry very nice and, and, and do a wonderful, wonderful job. And you'll see, uh, I'm going to work around here. You're going to see a couple of mistakes that I make, that, but I do fix them. Um, I'm going to get a little of that blue on his heel. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. The next thing I did is I took some Emperor's Children and you and put that, yeah, there we go, into his, for his tongue in his mouth there. And then the next thing is we're going to take some lead belcher and we are going to go all over the armor. Now, I drift off the camera a little bit here. I'm sorry about it, but I think you're going to get the gist of what we're going to do. And I'm pointing out that I want to hit the staff. I want to hit all the, the armor that he has because he primarily has this armor on. And uh, there we go. And I just start applying the lead belcher. And it's such a beautiful metallic. Um, but if you look at it, it doesn't give us any depth. So how are we going to get that depth? Well, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. Because we are going to get this all painted up real nice and synced in here. There we go. And you see how that just... I'm just taking a bigger brush and hitting the bigger areas, and then I'm going to you're going to see me actually switch brushes. I do that when I'm trying to speed paint a little bit, and I'm just taking and just working over the big areas, and then I'll clean up the other areas. But all we're trying to do is get our base paints on. And that's all we're worried about here, and that's all we're trying to do. Exactly by just layering that on there perfectly and making sure that it works in there and you see how how he start he's starting to come together as as we're starting to put all these bases and that that gigantic here's the axe where i'm actually off camera a little bit but i i, I eventually figure it out <laughs> it's never easy taping and 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 uh taping yourself and <laughs> while you're painting uh, like I said, the most unprofessional channel you'll ever see is Rob's Tabletop World. That's for doggone sure. So there you go. Uh, we're just really just getting the big areas, and then we're going to switch brushes here very quickly and very soon. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. Just checking the time to see how much we have here. Uh, like I said, we're going to be able to do this in way under an hour and uh, really get an idea and, and set up for what we're going to do right there you can see i actually drift off a little bit but i actually hit some of his fur if you make a mistake never worry about making a mistake because you can always correct it and fix it and that's the thing that that, that people worry about oh i'm not going to be a you know you know once if i get paint on the fur i'm going to ruin it no you can just go back over and you just got to take your time and everything will work in perfectly it'll all come together and you see that we're, we're getting those runes or whatever that are in the middle of his uh, front dress. There. And then we switch, switch over to a smaller brush so we can really start working the paint in there along, along the areas and just take our time. And you can see, instead of using a small brush and trying to do it all, that you can kind of use two brushes and kill two birds with one stone. And there we go. We're just kind of working ourselves in here. Okay, now that we have, as you can see here, we've got all that. We've got all that metallic in there now. Okay, and I use some Yushabi bone here for the handles, and I'm going to show you where else I did the handles. And now it, it looks like garbage right now, but trust me, trust me, it's going to come to life. And we're just getting that color on there. And we use that for his straps. Um, some, of the, some of the wrapping on the weapon uh, on, the, on the back here. See, that's where you can see his little hind, his, his leg where I got a little bit of blue there. But like I said, we fix it. Okay. Got a little metallic in there, but I'm not worried about it because I'm going to fix it all. Now we're going to take some new oil. Now, we got, now that we got all our base colors on there, okay. And what we're going to do is we are really going to look at that. Look what happens there. Look what happens there. If you can see here, and, and, and hopefully you can see my mouse here. You could see where when you put that new oil, it's number one, it's going to 
darken everything up, but it's going to start giving us that depth that I talk about. Look how it gets in the recesses there. Now all of a sudden that, that weapon starts to have some depth to it. And watch how, how this all comes together here. Now, unfortunately, I do drift off again. And I promise next week we won't drift off. But there's going to be a couple areas here, and that's why I just left left this the way it was without editing it up that much because there's a couple areas that you really get a big pop here. And uh, as you can see, I am just taking... I, I'm not worried about... I'm not worrying about it pool, pooling because we're going to go over that. And, and you're really going to see some things. And then there we're going to actually go over the bear again with another coat of this because what is it doing? Okay, again, it gets in the recesses. We have that wonderful gray that we we have for that bear. But I want to darken up this bear because I'm going to bring him back out. Look at that. Look. All right, let me see if I turn it again. Come on, Rob, do it again. And you can see where that, that just coming in. Look, look, look at the metallics in the armor. We're going over his head a little bit. We drift off, of course. Come on, come on. Let's get get him back in there and I'm gonna work this lower section here and I do believe I show him again so we'll make sure that we get we get make sure that you get a look there all right boom whoa 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 let's not there we go let's go here and yeah okay pick him up now I'm gonna take that Agrath earth shade and even though it's wet I'm going to work it into, I really drift off bad here, but um, I had to cut it. But you can see right here where I work it into the bandages and how now we're starting to get depth there. So now you can see exactly what I was trying to accomplish by working that in there. Let's see, I do come back into frame, folks. <laughs> Barbara, how are you? Barbara, I get to see you in, I think, 14 days. Okay, look at this. Now, I'm going to stop it right here for, for a reason here because I really want to show you what we do here. The bandages here or, or, or the straps that hold this armor in, we, we, we've darkened that up. We've also, look, look at the depth now that we're creating on this armor. The armor's getting really dark, but oh, hold on. Not so fast, my friends. Not so fast. Look at the straps. See how the straps are coming to life and everything like that? And all right into the runes. The runes are nice and dark. Look at the runes here. How they've come in. How the bear's dark and, and how his fur starts to stand out. And how he starts to come to life. How he starts to stand up and starts to become what we want him to be. Now I'm going to take some Dragonoff Nightshade. Okay? We have that beautiful color but I wanted to darken it up a bit. Why? Because I want to create depth yet again. And I want to make sure this doesn't pull too much. And when you have a wash that pulls, you want to move it around. Rob actually just talked about this in in a video on Rob's tabletop. Board. Oh, okay, there you go. Can't wait for BGG. Neither can I. Hi, guys. Wow, always making it look easy. Well, thank you. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional. You guys can do this. Now, we're taking that same wash and we're working it through. And like I said, this is a crash video making up for last week. So, you probably would have saw this first. But this was actually two videos. <laughs> so, I, what I did is I condensed it into this live video so we can catch up. So, we can do that diorama. Which we're going to, at the end, after this is done, I want to show you guys. And I, I want to show you the base that we're going to be putting it into and I'm going to tell a little bit a little bit more than you would see in the video that you would see on Rob's tabletop world so um look at him look at that look at them all right so we're going to let that dry and you really want to let your washes dry for a good half hour uh and make sure that they're dry now I'm going to take this rack white now what is that and I'm just going to go back a here, here. Okay, there we go. It's a dry paint from Citadel. This is one of those technical paints that they, they have from Citadel that really help you in a lot of ways. Because it's going to come out on the brush. And you can see, it's, look how chunky it is. And I'm just going to... 
and I'm going to just take it and I'm going to work it into the paper towel. I'm going to try to take as much as I can off and just have that spot there where I can always just pull a little from. I want to be very, look at how I'm really grinding that off. And I'm just going to go very lightly, even lightly. Watch, watch the result I get. I, I said, you know something? His heels are going to be a little brighter. Sexy beast. That is. That's whatever it is. It's a war bear, Barbara. And he, he's my favorite. That's for sure. Look how light I'm going. And I'm still getting a nice pop there. But I'm hitting the top. And I'm not trying to lose any of the depth I have there. I want to hit that fur. And I want to start bringing him out. I want him to start to have this wonderful feel. This 3D feel to him. And where you're really going to see it. And as that paint starts coming off. And I can push a little harder. In the flat spots. And really build some depth. And you can see where it's just coming together on his leg there. It is an Ursus Warbear. Oh, sorry. Yes, it is an Ursus Warbear, but I do love that Warbear. Oh, I love him so. And I was able to pull a little bit, eh, a little bit too much, but I was able to, you're able to grind it out a little bit. I said, eh, hold on, let's go back over to his thigh and really just get a feel for what I have on that brush. And I just very, very lightly go over. Because the real critical part of him is his upper body. And I really want to make sure that I, I, I make that shine. And not hit the metallic. So I'm being very, very, very careful. Even though I'm not worried about hitting the metallic. Because I'm going to be going over the metallic. And there you go. Look, look what we're doing there. All right, fair. When I have most of the paint off, that's when I start working into his facial area. And I start bringing him to life now. There we go. Come on, big boy. Now he's starting to look fierce. Look at him. Arr. He's, he's like, you know, I don't care what you throw at me. I am going to, I, I'm going to defend this forest. I'm going to defend the deep woods. By oath sworn, I swear I will defend all that is. And he's just awesome. Look at that bear. I mean, I love... My favorite figure. My favorite figure from this. I cannot wait for a year from now. I don't want to rush the year. But boy, I really can't wait to play this game. And, and and just get all those sculpts and just go through them all and paint them all. And we'll do it all live here, of course, on Board Game Geek next year when, when this game comes out. But this gives you an idea. We're going over his hands. Want to get his hands. You really want to... Yeah, I see. You want to bring that out. Don't worry about what... Now, you saw me hit that metallic a little bit. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it at all. Because watch what's going to happen. Ursus means bear in Latin, so it's bear, war bear? Yeah. You gotta say it twice because he's that badass. Now look how, look at that. This is what I talk about. Well, boy, every time I get a perfect shot there. Okay, there we go. When I talk about creating depth, here's a perfect example of what we're trying to, to, to bring in layers. Because if you just leave one color on there, you don't... Yeah, it looks good as a base and you could put it on the table and it'd be fine. But when you bring that dimension, it brings more of the theme. It brings more of everything you want from the game. And that builds depth in, 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 in just putting a little bit of extra effort into your miniatures. And anybody can do this. You can do this. All you got, Everything I'm doing here, you can do. Hey, that was pretty fancy. Okay, I take some Rune Fang Steel. Now watch what this does. Watch how light I go over this. Because now we're going to get that metallic feel. This is where it all comes together, folks. This is... Look how I keep the depth. The 3D. But I, I now have that, that feel that it's metallic. And it's dangerous. And it's worn. And it's going to, it's going to do some things. I like the blue skirt. Well, thank you, Marcus. I do too. Look at that. 
Watch how this, now all of a sudden we have that metallic feel. And it just all comes to life as we start to just really just bring this wonderful, wonderful figure to life. Going over those runes. Saying, yeah, that's what we want. I'm going to move this because we're going we're gonna to focus in on it. things in about three minutes. Because this video is almost over. And I'm going to show you another 30 second video of the tree and what I did with it. Look, now look at that. See how that plating just jumps now? It just it just comes to life. Yeah, we got the little buckle there. <laughs> yeah, just, just taking... You don't need a lot of paint. You don't need a lot of paint. You just... Nice and light. Nice and light work it over. Nice and light. Look, just using that same and bringing that war axe looks like it's been worn. Let me tell you something. This guy's been in a lot of battles. He doesn't go in with a brand new shiny thing every time. The blue makes a nice contrast to the silver. Exactly what I said earlier in the video, Marcus. And I, I said, you know something? This will really work here. Look at that. Just, just a nice little tickle. And it all just starts to come together. And then we start hitting those edges there. Boom. Because we don't want to leave anything out. Look at... Want to hit over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Start working. Now we start working the, le the leg armor. What a beautiful sculpture. What a... I mean, Toby it just did a fantastic job on these. And the imagination and the creativity involved is just, just magnificent. As you're going to see in two weeks when we go to Cthulhu Death May Die. Uh, I have to hand it to... I, I, I've had, I had a lot of fun painting those. But let, let's stay on target here. Just doing a little promo for the uh, next couple, couple of weeks, folks. Just keeping it real. And then finally I decided to just kind of... Eh, let's just go... Let's go Rune Fang with this whole belt and really just lock this in. Look how my big my boy just comes in there. Look at him. Look at him. That's what you want. That's what you want. That's exactly what we were looking for and how it all comes together. Right? And I think that looks pretty doggone good. Alright, we're not going to go too much further. Okay. So, last part of this. I just want to show you. Uh, I do take some Skaven Blight Dinge. And I want this tree, tree gray. Okay, look at this the, the beautiful tree. Now, these are going to come with the game if you purchase uh, the certain package. I decided to go with a gray tree instead of a brown tree. And I'll show you why in a second. And, and then I just kind of show off. Oh, I, I actually skipped a part. Uh, I do take some blue skink and lighten up this um, the, blue, the blue dress. I believe you used lead belcher followed by rune fang steel. That is correct. There you go, and boom. So let's come up top here for a second. Easy. It's not that hard. Non rocket science. We're going to switch over to this camera here. We got moving cameras, we got all kinds of things here. So I wanted to show you these three my idea and what I had in mind. So let's take our camera. Because, yeah, that's right. I got cameras that move, son. See what happens when you invest too much money in a little junk channel? <laughs> My channel, I mean. Um, now, this is this is what we're going for. And there's a story to be told here. As you can see, this, this tree holds a significance. It holds some kind of power. And I want to tell a story that, and, and that this tree is something that... This creature wants. He's out to destroy something. And the last line of defense is our war bear here. So how are we going to put that all together? Well, I'm going to show you real quick here. Um, I ended up getting this here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to build this all in here. Ooh. So this is actually, we're actually going to have some plaster or, or some uh, foam in here. And we're going to build 
a diorama and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it and tell this wonderful story that well I came up with or maybe you're gonna see something here and you're gonna write me at Nova Prime 860 at hotmail.com and come up with your own stuff story but we're gonna have you're gonna see the beauty of the deep woods and the significance of this particular tree I'm not gonna tell you what what I come up with in my head but this tree is going there's a lot of work I have to do on this tree so I'm gonna show you how I do that as well but what we're going to be doing next week is we're going to be building this beautiful landscape that this guy is trying to corrupt. And uh, it's up the last line of defense. I mean, look how fierce he is. Can our war bear do it? Can Ursus the bear bear do it? Can the bear war bear do it? <laughs> we can only hope. And we're going to build this beautiful diorama and uh, probably auction it off for charity and uh, hopefully it'll go to a good home but it'd be a lot of fun and I think it'd be something that you guys would enjoy to see <sighs> there you have it that's the idea next week we have we've got some really cool things coming we're gonna be building this I'm, I, and I also have a, a, another live video coming up here on Tuesday as we're starting a new segment I don't want to say too much in case it doesn't come, but hopefully it'll be here, and I think you guys will really, really enjoy it. Uh, I can promise you that, um, that we are going to give you the best effort. Uh, just to show you again, maybe you guys have something in your head that you want. Maybe you see something here. Write me at novaprime860 at hotmail.com, and I'm going to take some of your stories, and and maybe maybe it changes what I do. Maybe... Maybe the war bear has to come and try to defeat this tree. Maybe we make the tree evil. And he's defending the power that, that, that he draws from the tree. And it's up to the war bear to stop it. There's a number of ways that we could do it. I would love to hear some of your thoughts. I have something in mind. And we're going to build in this frame this, this landscape and brook and, and uh, some other things in here. And we're really going to make this something special. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. So there you go. 53 minutes. Exactly what I wanted to keep it under an hour, which we're trying to do. So you guys stay engaged and enthralled. I hope, I hope that you guys enjoy our new format. I hope that you are enjoying painting live with Rob and going over all the wonderful things that, that we try to accomplish and show you how easy that you guys can do this. You guys can do all this stuff. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And I, I promise you there. So for all my great teammates and, of course, the great Aldi from Board Game Geek uh, and all the guys and gals and uh, all the wonderful work they do, it's such a pleasure to be on here each and every week. Uh, when YouTube allows me to be on hopefully we got that glitch out where it doesn't happen again but I, I can tell you this it's always a, pro a privilege to be a part of such a fantastic team and I hope to see you guys next week when we really have some fun and use our cre creativity and create with these three wonderful models I was left from from the live show when Toby came down to the house to, to, to build a beautiful story with um, Oath Sworn into the Deep Woods. I hope you back the Kickstarter. I'm telling you, this is going to be a fantastic experience, and you guys will not be disappointed. And throughout the year, uh, I'm sure we're going to be bringing you all kinds of neat stuff that we can update and do things. But right now, let's just build something really cool and and have fun. Isn't that what it's all about? As always, tomorrow's never guaranteed. Be kind to somebody. Be good to somebody. Not only is it going to make you feel good, it's going to make them feel good as well. And until next time, it's your old pal Rob saying, we'll see you soon. <laughs>